watch the video inshallah welcome to the fourth class uh, today yeah. we will yeah, today we will uh, continue with making sentences we learned uh, masculine feminine definite indefinite uh, last uh, last uh, class uh, we learned how to how to say like how to determine whether like uh, this is masculine or feminine based on the ah sound here so we learned we learned some of the nouns like they qalam kitab shay these are non-human masculine nouns and we learned sayyara uh, madina qahwa mushkila these are uh, feminine non-human nouns uh, and uh, as well as some of the human nouns like sadiq friend and sadiqa uh, zawj zawja zamil zamila ustad wa ustada talib wa taliba and we learn how to assign those also to like uh, with nationality we, we learn the countries the name of the countries like here oman america al hind etc and then how to say like omani is like omani or romania america amriki or amrikiya okay so we did exercise uh, four as a homework and uh, most of you uh, sent me like on whatsapp the homework well done but just like for who's going to I would like Dominica to introduce to introduce this guy, Muhammad. Dominica, can you do that? Mm, okay. Heather uh, Muhammad. Hua Min Oman. Hua Min Oman or Hua? So Hua Min Oman. Omani. Hua Omani. Hua Ustad. Okay. Rosana, can you can you introduce Sarah? Uh, uh, what is Sarah? Hadi Sarah? Hadi Sarah? Hmm? He is Italian. Yeah, Italia. Italia. Hmm? He is Taliba. Taliba. Hia fi Milano. Hia fi Milano, Montaz. Hia fi Milano. Okay. Uh, Len, can you introduce John? Sure. Hala mm -hmm. John. Hala John. Hala John. Mm -hmm. Um. In UK, uh, Britannia, Britannia, Britannia. Yeah, so yeah, who are men Britannia? Who are men? Yeah, who are men Britannia? Are Britannia? What? Who are Ustadia? 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 Or Ustadia? Ustadia, because she's a male, or Ustadia? Uh, who are from London? Who are from London? Nora? Nora, can you introduce me? Mm. I uh, have a. Uh, Hadi Claire. Hadi Claire. Uh, he is uh, in uh, America. He is uh, in America, that's one. He is uh, in America or here uh, directly. He is uh, in America or here. Uh, America. America. Wa he is Taliba. He is Taliba. New York. He is uh, in New York. He is in New York. He is uh, in New York. Muntaz. Uh, Erika, inti yes. Francia? Inti Francia? La. La. Anna? Anna. Uh, do I just say Anna Amrikia? Aiva, Anna Amrikia. That's correct. Anna Amrikia. Uh, Dominica? Uh, Eva, uh, Eva Francia? La. 
Eh, Eva Bulandia. Eva Bulandia o Hia Bulandia. Hia Bulandia. Okay. Uh, Nadia, uh, inti, yeah. inti Brasilia? Uh, la. Hmm? Ana, Ana Min Ar Al Argentina. Ana Min Al Argentina, that's correct. Or Ana Argentinia. I know that's, that's uh, the worst thing to, like, maybe to call you, like, the Brazilian, since you, you are Argen Argentine. It's okay, I'm Perhaps. fine with that. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> with the football. Or... Okay. Okay. Uh, do you guys, do you have any, any question here about, like, masculine and feminine, about this? Already, we combined, like, uh, what we learned last week with what we learned uh, on Monday. Like, hua, hia. Uh, mean, uh, see all of those things. Questions? I have a question, yeah. Mohammed. Yeah? If, okay, so when we're introducing these people and we're saying, if we want to say she is Italian, do we mm -hmm. just say Hia Italia or do we have to say Hia Inti Italia? Or? No, no. no it, it's Hia because it's like English, she is Italian. We don't say she is, you are Italian. Like, which is one of the, okay. if we are, yeah, if we are talking to her, if we are talking to, like, I'm, I'm talking to you, Erica. So I say, Pinti Amrikia. Like, I'm talking to David. Unfortunately, we don't have David or Jeremy here. Uh, I'm talking to David. I would say, David, Inta uh, Britani. But since we are talking about, uh, Sarah, Muhammad, John, and Claire. Then we say Hua, Wa, Hia. Okay. Hua, Super. and Hia. Muntaz. Muntaz, guys. We did also L, like, uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, like, uh, indefinite and definite. As I told you, you are going to learn nouns or adjectives in indefinite, in A. But we don't have A in Arabic. We don't have, like, indefinite sign. We just have definite sign, which is L. L is the is the definite the. So we add it. We add it to the nouns. Al bayt, al qahwa, al ashay, al kitab, like that. Good. Okay. Today we're going to learn uh, uh, good like new things using what we have learned. Uh, uh, on on Monday, using the same nouns and the same adjectives. I'm going to, to go to this sheet later, but first I want to do these three exercises, exercise one, two, three. I'm going to assign these exercises. Uh, I'm that kind of teachers. I'm going to assign students to the exercise. So here, let me choose. The screen shows me, like, uh, it shows uh, Dominica and uh, Rosanna. I would, like, I would like you to do the first one. Exercise one. You are meeting, you only speak Arabic, both of you. This is the exercise I want you to do. This is not from last, last uh, from the first week. So, Dominic, you start. Okay. Uh, Marhaba, Kef Salah. Marhaba, Dominica. Taina Elhandila. Why in What? You're talking to Dominica. Wa inta or wa inti? Wa inti. Perfect. Wa inti. Wa inti. Ana Bihail. Shukran. It's me, Dominica. Wa inti? It's me. Is me, is me Rosanna. I'm Taman. Shukran. Rosanna. Tasha Rafna. Tasha Rafna, Rosanna. Eh, Tasha Rafna, Dominica. Ma salama. Ma salama. Perfect. Montaz. Okay. Just like we need to focus on, let me see, what about I you? Have a, I have yeah. a question. Yeah, go ahead. When I say Taman, only say Taman. Or oh, can I say I'm uh, Anna Taman? You can say Tamam, Alhamdulillah, Zena, Alhamdulillah, or you can say 
Ana Zaina, Alhamdulillah. Ana Tamam, Alhamdulillah. It's implied. If you don't, if you didn't say it, it's implied. Okay, Len and Nadia, I would like you to do this exercise too. You are asking. There is a guy, and you are asking. And since I'm the only guy here, you are going to ask about me. So Nadia, you are going to ask the questions, and uh, Len, you are going to answer the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Lau Samati. Mm -hmm. uh, um, mean no. Min. Min. Min Hawaii. Min Hua or Min Inta. Min Inta. Min. Min Hada. Min Hada. Min Inta would be if you were talking directly to me, but you're not talking to me. You're talking to Lin. I'm talking to him. Yes. Min Hada. Ah, Hada Muhammad. Hada Muhammad. Um. Hua, hua min, hua min Omani. Mm, there's no Oman here. Hua min, hua min Wayne. Hua min Wayne or min Wayne hua, min Wayne hua. That's how you say it, like, where, where is he from? Min Wayne. But this is not a, but this is not a question. This is a, an affirmation, yeah? No, it's a question. Here, you are asking here. Min, when, uh, that's uh, what. And yeah, 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 yeah. I was below, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now, now, now Lynn is here. Okay, Lynn? Uh, who are Omani? Who are Omani? Umtaz? Now you are at the, asking this question. Uh, Nadia? Who are Ustad? Who are Ustad? Uh, Aywa, who was Ustad? Aywa, who was Ustad? Who was the Muscat? Who was the Muscat? I'm tipping Aywa, who was the Muscat? Aywa, who was the Muscat? Correct, Muntaz. That's correct. Good, good, Muntaz. Okay, now I will ask uh, Noura. Mm -hmm. Noura, you are for here? Antigena? Yes. And uh, Evan. Eva, I'm sorry, I know you are tired, but... <laughs> yes, okay, no problem. <laughs> this, is, this is what happens like in the classroom, so we, I would like it to be, uh, to make it like interactive uh, session. Okay, this is exercise three. You're asking the same questions, but about, a, about like uh, a female. So Eva, you're going to ask the questions. Mm -hmm. Starting from, uh, excuse me, who is this? Yeah. Okay. Um... Lausta Mahti, Minhada, Minhadi. Minhadi, Mumtaz, good, Minhadi. Ah, uh, Hia Claire. Hia Claire or Hadi Claire. Hadi Claire. Minwain Hia. Minwain Hia, Mumtaz, Eva. Ah. Hiya uh, Amerikiya. Hiya Amerikiya. Montaz Nora. Hiya Amerikiya. Hiya mm. Hiya uh, Atalib. Atalibah. Hiya Taliba. Look, this is uh, the S. So we don't have to add the Hiya Taliba. Hiya Taliba. Ah, Eva. Ah, uh, Hiya Taliba. Aywa, mm. hiya taliba. Shukran. Shukran, Muntaz. Ah, Muntaz, shukran, Muntaz. Do you guys have any question here? No. Shukran. No. So, so next week I will ask you this in, in Arabic. Do you have a question? That will be in Arabic, inshallah. Okay, mm. now the size five and six, they are about what we, what we covered on Monday. Uh, let's determine this, these nouns. Are they masculine or feminine? I'm going to... Ask one by one, and you tell me. I'll start with Len. Len, bait. Masculine. Masculine. Eva, kitab. Uh, masculine. Masculine. Uh, Nadia, kahwa. Uh, feminine. Feminine. Okay. Nura, talam. Uh, masculine. Masculine. Okay. Dominica, sadiq. 
ماسكولين ماسكولين uh, روزانا زوجة فمينا فمينا what, what does it mean زوجة كوليك وايف 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 اوكي اريكا زميل ماسكولين ماسكولين what does it mean uh, maybe a colleague Colleague, yes, or classmate, workmate, any mate, any, any companion, okay? Okay, Taliba. Taliba. Nadia? Taliba student? Uh -huh. Student, but what, is it masculine or feminine? It's feminine. Feminine, female student, Taliba. Female. You can ask, yes, you can, you can uh, describe Erika. Uh, with Taliba. Erika Taliba Hina. Uh, Rosanna Taliba Hina. But if it's David, David Talib Hina. Here. Hina means like here. Uh, uh, excuse me. Why, why you say Rosanna uh, Taliba here? Because you say Rosanna, you don't have to say Hiva. Hina, Hina, here. Hina. Ah, Hina, Hina. Okay. Yeah. Hina, here, yes. I'm saying that like Rosanna is a student here. Yeah. Hina. Okay, okay. Okay. We have uh, we have also these nouns that these are uh, indefinite nouns. These are like ah ah ah, all of them. Let's make them like yeah, definite. Let's give them that. So I'm going to start with uh, Eva, Medina. It's uh, feminine. Now we are, we know it's feminine, but here I want it to be like uh, that. Uh, I want to make it. Hi. Mm -hmm. Alman Madina Al Madina? Yeah, Al Madina, Muntaz, Al Madina. Okay. Uh, Erika, Kitab. Al Kitab. Al Kitab, Muntaz. Nadia, Bait. Al Bait. Al Bait. Uh, Dominica, Mushkila. Al Mushkila. Al Mushkila. Uh, Nura, Sayara. Al Sayara. السيارة ممتاز نورا السيارة لين صديقة الصديقة الصديقة ممتاز الصديقة روسانا الزوج 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 ممتاز الزوج and I'm going back to uh, Eva طالبة الطالبة 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 ممتاز that's that's good. It, we, now we can differentiate between masculine and feminine, and we can tell definite or indefinite and make, make them different. Today is very important like, to, 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 do, to do this, because today we are going to make sentences, inshallah. But first, let's, let's uh, take a look to these lovely uh, pictures here. Uh, we already know these. Uh, we already know when we want to ask about something, not someone, something, we use the word shoe. As in, like, what? So, shuhada, what does that mean? Shuhada? What is this? What is this? What is this? What um, is this? I have a question. Um, yeah? Um, uh, is it okay if I use a shahada? Also, yeah. my, my family uh, in law, they always use a so. Yeah. So, shu or ish, because we learned they are both, they mean uh, what? So, shuhada, ishhada, it's the same. And oh, actually, in, in Omani Arabic, we have about like five, like ish, shu, wish, wash, mu, like. Oh, okay. <laughs> these are the most common, based, based on uh, where, you, where you are. And I'm sure like Dominica, she, she hears a lot of these. She's in, in, in Tinao, like, uh, like more, more slang uh, with Bedouin area. I'm teaching you the Muscat, the Muscat language. Okay. So here we can see like Hatha Bay. Look at it, Hatha Bay. Uh, this is a house. Hatha Kitab. This is a book. Hatha Shai. This is a tea. I know in English it's like this is tea, but like, like assuming this is a cup of tea. That's how you say it. This is a tea. Hatha Shai. So feminine, we say Hadi Sayara. Hadi Sa'a. Hadi Kahwa. Say, say this word, Sa'a. Sa'a. 
Sa'a. Remember, remember this ain. This ain is very important. Sa'a. Sa'a. Oman. Oman. It's also very difficult. That yeah. pronunciation is very difficult, yeah. Sa'a. Yeah. Sa'a. <laughs> Oh. Not difficult if you also speak the most uh, difficult language like Polish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If we want to ask about people, that's why, like in the exercise uh, previously, we said min, min hada or min hadi. Who is this? So we have like the first uh, nouns for human. How to say a man or a guy is rajul. 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 Hada Rajul. And for, for a boy, we say Walad. Hada Walad. Boy. For a female, we say Tet. Hurma. This is, this is uh, yes. Hurma. 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 Yeah. Today we learn how to say Italian guy, Polish girl, or, or like female. Omani girl also. Adi bint. Bint is a girl. Okay, Muhammad, what's the difference between Horma? Like Horma is more like lady, like like a woman. Some in Oman we we call a married uh, a married uh, girl. We call her like Horma. But she, if she is if she is unmarried, if she's single, we call her bint. It doesn't matter how old she is. But obviously, if she's like. 50, 60, we call her Harma, we don't call her Bin. Like she's a lady, she's, but if she's like in her 30s, her 40s, she's still bent if she's, if she's not married. Hmm. Walad only if it's a child, like up to like high school. And then when you graduate high school, you are Rajul. Especially if you are, if you are married, you are Rajul. Okay, guys. I would like to focus here now. I would like to concentrate because I'm teaching you your first adjectives in Arabic. Your first six adjectives. You already know how to say good or okay, which is zain. But uh, the, the rest, uh, I really would like you to memorize them. These are your first adjectives in Arabic. Of course, if you want to, to, to memorize more, uh, it's up to you. But I'm teaching you today, I'm teaching you how to handle adjectives, what to do with, with adjectives. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, read them together. Uh, please uh, follow me, okay, when I read. Uh, kabir, listen to my mom, like listen and, and look to my mom, kabir. 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 Yeah. And most people on the, even like in English, like kabir, it's not kok, it's not kok, it's a ke. I'm smiling, kabir. Kabir. And for Kabir. 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 Yeah. Kabir. 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 Yeah. Kabir. So Kabir means like big. Kabir means like big. And also it means uh, like uh, like adult or, or mature or grown up or, or old for uh, or human. This is Kabir. It means like big for non-human object. And the opposite is Sagir. Say Sagir. Sagir. That means that means like small or like young uh, uh, kid. Also, like for we say like Sagir. Who was Sagir? Or here? Sarira. Sagira. Dominica. Not 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 It's not Sarira. It's Sagira. Sahira. 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 Okay, far, like in distance or in time. Baid, say it. Baid. 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 So we have two syllables. Ba and then Eid. Ba, Eid. Baid. And for female? Baida. Baida. Okay. Parib. Parib. That means like near or close or like nearby. For female? Pariba. Pariba. Yes. Pariba. Like if you are 
if you are going somewhere and you want to tell someone that you are you are almost there, you are near, say like ana qariba, since you are all uh, females, ana qariba. I would say ana qarib, but you as like feminine, you say ana qariba. Okay, good. Zain, like I was like Zain, alhamdulillah. Zain. You will say what? Zaina. Zaina, alhamdulillah. Okay, Habi, uh, Saeed. 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 Which is, for you who live in Oman, it's a very common name in Oman. It means Habi. Saeed, it's the same name. Saeed. Saeed. her name also, Saeed, no? Habus al Saeed. The Sultan's surname. Yeah, it's the, yeah, also a surname, yes, exactly. Uh, and and we have, we have Saeedah. Saida. Saida. Uh, like I, can, I can ask I can ask uh, Eva. Eva, Inti Saida? Um Iwa. <laughs> 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 Saida. Okay. And if you want to ask a guy, Inta Said. Of course that, that will mean are you Said? Are you the name Said? Or are you happy? Both. So you have to clarify. Are you happy? Now, guys, if you want to make uh, adjectives and nouns, I want you to pay attention here. I want to pay attention here, please. Here, how to say, like, okay, so Beit Kabir, it means, this it means, oh, like a big, big house. Look at it. In English, big and then house. Adjective and then noun. In Arabic, it's the opposite. It's bait, which is the noun, then kabir, which is the adjective. So always noun first and then adjective, yeah? Always, always, always. There's no exception. Always noun first, then then adjective. Okay. And and look at what happened to mushkila. If it if the noun is feminine, like mushkila, the adjective will become feminine as well. Look at kabira. Here, here, there are two most, two very important uh, rules. The first rule, the most important rule, noun comes first, then adjective. The second rule, gender, agreement of the gender. If the noun is masculine, then the adjective is masculine. If the noun is feminine, then the adjective is feminine. This is, this is the opposite of your language. English or Polish or or Spanish. This is the obvious. Okay. Question. Okay. Eva, question. Do you have a question? No. 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 Okay. Perfect. Again, I'll repeat. First, choose choose any noun. We have nouns. We learned nouns last last class. Or even today, we learned some of the nouns here. Also, we learned adjectives before. Before these adjectives, we learned some of the adjectives like like Omani. Omani is adjective. Uh, Indian, uh, Italian, Polish, uh, American, British, Australian. These are adjectives. So, if I want to say, let, let me go back to to these these pictures. If I want to say an Omani guy, an Omani guy, just Omani guy. How do you say that? Rajul Omani. Rajul is the noun first, then Omani. If I want to say uh, Eva is a Polish, uh, it's a Polish lady. She is so Eva Horma Bolandia. Horma Bolandia. Sarah is an Italian girl. Lynn, I wanted to say this. Sarah is There's Italian. Bint Italia. Bint Italia. Mumtaz. Bint Italia. Bint is the noun. Italia is the adjective. Okay? I want. We're, going to, we're going to do exercise A. Uh, you have to say, we just said this. Italian girl. We just said it. Bint. Mm -hmm. Girl, Bin, Italia. Italia, 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 
Okay, Oman Iman, you just said that, Oman Iman, Muhammad is Oman Iman, so who are? Rajul. Rajul to Oman Iman. Oman Iman. Rajul Oman Iman. Okay, good coffee. Kahwa Sayan. Sayina. Sayina. What? Zaina. Zaina. If you want to compliment somebody's coffee, or if you want, if somebody is offering, like uh, serving you a coffee, and you want to say, oh, good coffee. Ahwa Zaina. Ahwa Zaina. I want one, one of you to say, I am a happy student, and you will make me happy. Ana Taliba. Saida. Ana Taliba Mutaz. Saida. Saida. I hope you mean it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> small car. Like I have a small car. How do you say that? Small car. Small car. Small car. Small car. Small car. Small car. Small صغيرة yes here صغيرة that's why I told you guys uh, because today is Wednesday and you have about like four days uh, you your homework is try to memorize these because we're going to use them next week as well and I hope you you'll you'll have like memorize the the nouns as well just an example. Kalam Kabir. Kabir. Kalam Kabir. Kalam Kabir. Kalam Kabir. Kalam Kabir. Kalam Kabir. Kalam Kabir. Okay, that's. Remember, look, look at, look at these adjectives, guys. Look at these nouns and adjectives. These are indefinite. This is an Italian girl. An Italian girl. This is an Omani man. This is a good coffee. Uh, a happy student. A small car. A big pen. All of them, these are, they don't have L. None of them have. What if we, we want to make it definite adjective? Okay. What should we do? Look at it. If it's Sayyara Kabir, then it will be As Sayyara Al Kabir. Okay. Oh. Ah, so can also add to the adjective? Eh? Yes, yes. This is very important. This is very, very, very important. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? It, 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 it depends on what you want to say. Do you want to say a big car or the big car? An Omani teacher or the Omani teacher? It, what do you want to say? Um, sorry, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, about this, <laughs> this uh, all and, and the general it goes uh, in Finnish. I have always been struggling with this. How do I know if something is is definite and undefinite? Because in Finnish we have nothing like this. It's all the same, you know. Uh, uh, that's why uh, I, like convert, I convert to English. That's why I convert to English. It, it, yeah. It how, how do I know? I have. I'm struggling the same thing even in English. Um, yeah. When do I know that I have to put the the or al in front? Like, is it something that um, I, definite, I can? Definite, generally, different means it's uh, it's known, it's specific thing, it's not random. So if I know the other person knows this, then I use it. Yeah, you use that. That's the that's the nearly nearest like explanation I can I can uh, provide now. Like if I if I want to want to say I want to buy a big house, I want to buy a big house. I don't know which house. Is this is it this big house? This big house? This big house? I don't know. So this is random. Uh, so this yeah. is indefinite. But but if I said I like the big house, there are like five houses and one of them is big. So I like I like this one. I like it's known. So it's specific, oh. definite. Okay. Okay, thank you. Mohammed, Mshi ila Hamam, tamam? Okay, go ahead. So you're saying, yeah, okay, can we just for this, just to clarify, we, we say Al Bait Al Kabira is the Again. Yeah, Al Bait Al Kabir. So you wouldn't say 
Um, you wouldn't say albeit Kabir. I will down. I will here. I will say here. Okay. But that would be something else. Okay. Only, only, the only difference is does the, does the adjective have al or not? That's what makes it full sentence. Yeah. Okay. That's what makes it full sentence. So okay. look at it. Kitab Zain, what does Kitab Zain mean? Kitab Zain. Uh, good book. A uh, good book, yes. A uh, good uh, book. A good book. Yes, like, like, like I read a good book. My, yeah. friends, my friends don't know which, which, which uh, book is this. So it's it just like a random good book. But if I, if I want to read the good book that Muhammad told me about, the good book, I'd say that. Al Kitab Al Kitab Al Kitab Al Zain, yes. Okay. Okay, let's, let's go ahead. Ahlan wa sahlan. Kahwa, kahwa, Italia. That means an Italian coffee. Like I want to drink, not like uh, Italian coffee. There are like many like Italian coffees. In English, this may, maybe it doesn't make that much sense, but in Arabic it does. When I say kahwa, uh, it can be definite or or indefinite. Kahwa, Italia. This is indefinite Italian coffee. How do you say the? How do you say I like the Italian coffee? Al Kawa Al Important. Why? Because this will determine how we make full sentences. You will understand, I promise. <laughs> okay. Here we have Medina Sahira. Like if you want to say, if you want to say, I, I, I know, I know Dominica wants to say uh, Sinau is a small city. Sinau is a small city. Now, How to say that? Hmm? Sinau? Medina Al Sarira. Medina Sahira. Sinau Medina Sahira. Because, because Sinau is Medina and Sahira. But if I want to say I live in the small city, there are like, there are like uh, four or five cities and one of them is, is a small one. I live in the small city, so it will be... I'm asking for Medina Sahira. Al Medina Sahira. Yeah, Al Medina Sahira. Al-Madina al-Sagheera. Sorry, that's it. Okay. Al-Madina al-Sagheera. Okay. Al-Sagheera. Uh, I want to... Uh, yeah, Nadia? Hmm? We, we don't put apostrophe, yeah? In, in, when we put al-Madina, al-Qurum, we, we don't put apostrophe, yeah? Oh, yes. Because I well, see some signs in al al kurum yeah this is this is not like a universal like uh, way or method of writing in, in on like on on the science of existence that transliteration also so it's not it's not fixed this is not like fixed when you when you read in arabic when you finish uh, learning the arabic alphabet you will know it's fixed it's one way of writing that like al qurum is al qurum but how to how to write it in english it's like how to write my name muhammad in english there are like five or six ways of writing Muhammad. Mm. So this is not a fixed, a fixed way. Yeah, because when you're driving, you can you see too many signs in a different uh, kind of uh, with apostrophe, with apostrophe, kurum, karum. Yeah, even like maskat or matrah, zuhar, they are different. Mm. Okay, talib amriki. What does that mean? American student. American, American. American. Uh, uh, he or she? He. 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 Talib. So, the American student? A Talib al American. Talib al American. Talib al American. Talib al American. Talib Ustaz Omani, like if you want to say Muhammad is an Omani teacher, that's in English. Muhammad is an Omani teacher. 
and uh, Ustad Muhammad Ustad Omani. But if you want to say, if there are like four teachers, one is Omani, American, French, and Egyptian, and you want to say Muhammad is the Omani teacher. So Muhammad? Al Ustad Al Omani. Al Omani. Al Omani. Yeah, Al Ustad Al Omani. Okay. Now you get it. Here we have here we have like a summary of this. We know we have the noun first, then the adjective. If the noun, this is the gender, is fixed. If the noun is masculine, the adjective is masculine. If the noun is feminine, the adjective is feminine. Then also, if we want to make, if we want to make noun adjective only noun adjective, then if the noun is definite, the adjective is definite. Both. If the noun is indefinite, the adjective is in indefinite. Here we have examples. Here we have uh, examples here. This is when the noun is indefinite and the adjective is indefinite. When the noun is definite and the adjective is definite. But, but these columns, these two columns, they don't make full sentence. Because when you say big car in English, again, I'm going to use English, big car, it's not a full sentence. This is a noun, this is a noun, a car, that is big, that's it. But it's not a full sentence. Uh, when you say the big house or the small house, again, it's not a full sentence. But when you say the house is big, that's a full sentence. That's a complete full sentence. How do we say that? How do we say the house is big? What we do? We make the noun definite, the adjective indefinite. Yeah. So we don't have to add this al to adjective. Okay. You have to drop it. Can you translate this literally? Translate it literally. Al Qahwa Italia. Dominica, translate it Italy. Literally. The coffee Italian. The coffee Italian. So you just put is the coffee is Italian. The coffee is Italian. Look at it here. We have Kahwa Italia, which we did. We learned it here in this exercise A. And then we have here Al Kahwa Al Italia, which we learned in exercise 9. Now, in exercise 10, we are making a full sentence. The coffee is Italian. I mean, this coffee, this particular coffee is Italian. It's not Omani. Ah, okay. Yeah? I would like it better if it was uh, Hada. Yeah, Hada Kahwa. or Hadi. Yeah, Hadi Al Kawa Itali. Yeah, Hadi Al Kawa Itali. Let's use let's use like another example. We have Beit, and we have adjective Kabir. Beit Kabir. Lim, I'm going to ask you. Translate this. Beit Kabir is. How speak. Uh, in English, it will be uh, the big, big house. A big house. A big house. A random big house, not specific one. And if yeah. you want to say, if you want to say Al Bayt Al Kabir, you say Al Bayt Al Kabir. That will be. It's the big house. The the big house. And if I told you that Al Bayt Kabir, that will be that will be what? The house is big. The house is big. Yeah. You can add Hada here. Hada Al Bayt Kabir. Uh, this, is big this is the big house. house. This house is big. This house is big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, we have we have uh, Sayyara, which is a noun, and Sagira. I'm going to choose Rosanna. Rosanna. Come on, let's let's uh, work together. Sayyara, Sagira. What does that mean? Rosanna, can you hear me? Yes, okay, maybe. Is, uh, <laughs> a, small, a small car. 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 The small car. And if I told you that a sayara is The The car is small. 
The car is small. Uh. The car is small. The car is small. Yes. Okay. Dominica. Here. Ustad Omani. Omani teacher. Omani teacher. A male Omani teacher. Al Ustad Omani. Al Ustad Al Omani. Al Ustad Al Omani. Like the Omani teacher. The Omani teacher. And if you said, if you said Al Ustad Omani. The teacher is Omani. Teacher is Omani. Umtaz. Umtaz. Nadia. Nadia. Talib Zain. Talib Zain. That will be? Um, uh, good. Uh, the, the people. The, uh, the people is the people good. Talib is what does Talib mean? Student. Student. So student. Good student. Good student. Yes. Talib yes. Zain. As Talib as Zain. The good student. The good student. And As Talib Zain. The student is good. The student is good. Montaz. Eva. Medina. <laughs> Medina, Medina, Sariba. Medina, Sariba. It's a city near. Yeah, or a near city. A nearby city. A nearby city. That is near. Okay, if I said that, okay, Al Medina, Al Qariba, that will be? The city near. The near city. The near city, yes. The near city, yes. And uh, Al Madin Al Madin Al Kariba, uh, the city is near. The city is near. That's a full sentence. Again, I'm going to. Yeah. Yes. It, it's it's new for you. That's why I'm I like put it in one separate class. This is new. How to make a sentence. But come on, it's your fourth class, and you can make sentences. Now you can you can memorize any noun you want, any any adjective you want, and then you make sentences. This is the key. I'm giving you here. I'm giving you keys. Keys to understand that. Here here's the here's the summary. Here's the summary. We have three three possibilities. Possible like this is possibility number one. This is the first one. If the noun is Definite and the adjective is definite. We have an example al bait al kabir. It's not a full sentence. If the noun is indefinite and the adjective is indefinite, like bait kabir, again, it's not a full sentence. But if the, def if the noun is definite and the adjective is indefinite, like al bait kabir, that is a full sentence. Like what Makes we did sense. here. Yeah. Yeah, like what we did here. Yes. Here you have wajib. What does that mean? Wajib. What does wajib mean? I told you last week or last last class. We actually we read it. Wajib. It means homework. This is your homework. homework. This is homework. Wow. Exercise yeah. eleven. This is homework. What should we do? Should do what the homework. Do? Yeah, but what is the homework? <laughs> 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 we have want us in, he wants us to make in this definite and sentences using those combinations of nouns and adjectives. We have noun and we have adjective, yes. And you have three, you have three possible uh, ways of saying that like you have the indefinite one, like sayyara sagira here, and then the definite one, which is as sayyara as sagira, and then the full sentence, as sayyara sagira. You have teacher and American. You can choose this teacher is a, a guy or a girl. It's up to you. Like friend also, classmate. You can choose. But like city and book and boy, you cannot choose. These are set like gender already. Guys, we have a question here. So far, do you have a question? About masculine, feminine, definite, indefinite. La. Okay, because you are making sentences. At this level, you can make sentences. 
Just little ones. Yeah, step by step. Next week, this is heavy grammar of this week. So if you uh, if you couldn't do the homework, if you could do the homework correctly, then that's good. If you couldn't, please watch this video again on YouTube, and and you'll understand. Because next week we are taking a new heavy grammar, the possessive pronouns, how to say my car, your car, and it's a bit complicated, it's a bit tricky. So I would like your brain to be like uh, clear. Here we finished uh, last week. We finished with the with the uh, alphabet with the jim, ha, and ha. Uh, most of you did the homework. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we have jim, ha, and ha, and we could uh, recognize them. This is ha. This is jim. This is ha. You can spell all, all of them, and then we connected. You sent me your homework, connected like these uh, letters together. Uh, and remember, remember, when you when you connect, Alif and Wow, he well, like special letters. They, they don't connect from the left. And we of course we learn we learn the uh, four guys, four letters. For letters, they also special letters. You don't connect from the letter, from the left, like dal, da, the, ra, and za. Da, the, ra, and za. Yeah, we we connected them here. This is this is the homework. And check it out later if you want. Again, as I said, this is my uh, least favorite part of teaching uh, Arabic. When I, whenever I have like a new class, new student, uh, this is my least favorite because I think students uh, can do this uh, uh, self-study. There is nothing to explain here rather than to determine whether the letter is uh, like uh, special or not. Is it connected from the left or not? That, this, is, this is my only job here. Uh, otherwise, you can uh, memorize the shapes by yourself by just like, practicing, practicing, practicing can also you have these uh, right now you can you can spell all of them I, I, I don't ask you to read I don't want you to read those yet no I want to recognize letters one by one so here's here's something I would like you to do also as a homework I'd like you to you have this table and you have this table here just choose a, a word or, or like five words take a picture of them and spell them uh, on, on, on WhatsApp, on a voice note, send them to me. I will check them. Like, like I will choose this one. Of course, from the right. So I will check. Oh, Muhammad. Ya, the, wa, ba. I don't ask you to read it. I just want you to spell them one by one. That's With it. The English to... letters. Huh? With English letters, yeah. No, no, this is ya. This is ya. Yeah. And this is the. You just spell them on a voice note and send me the okay. picture of yes. Yeah, like, okay. take a, yes. You can take all of them if you like. You're welcome to do that. You have you have the weekend, you have plus tomorrow, and you have like Sunday also. Okay. Today we have uh, uh, four new letters. Today I'm going to give you only four, not, uh, uh, not going to give you uh, like uh, eight or seven, no, only four. And next week uh, I'm going to add the rest, inshallah. Uh, because I want, you to do, I want you to do the previous ones also, I want to re review them. Here we have uh, four letters. We'll start from this, from this letter, we'll start the heavy letters. Up to now, we learned the light letters, like the small letters. Here we have in, say, seen. Okay, say, seen. 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 Like you're smiling. Please smile when you say it. Sa. Yeah. Yeah. Sa. 
Yeah, you are smiling. Yeah, you are smiling. It has very it is distinguished. It has like look at it. It has three. Uh, look at it here. It has three sticks together. Sa in the middle, and if it if it's at the end, it goes it goes down like that. Sa. It's not special. None of the none of them here. Not special. So it's connected. Uh, it's connected from the left. Theme. Sa. So like Sayara, Salim, Assalamu Alaikum. Sa. Okay. The same shape. Here we have the same shape. Seen. We have the same shape with dots. Exactly the same shape with dots. Uh -huh. This is mm -hmm. this shah. As such. She shah. Shah. Exactly. This is exactly like seen. Looks like like seen. Uh, but with three dots. So when we do our homework from the previous week and you want us to do the voice message, do you want yeah. us to say, pronounce it like sha or sheen? Up to you. Okay. You can just say sha or just say, you can say sheen. It's up to okay. you. This is the, like sheen, uh, sheen, sheen, uh, sheen. These are the names of the, of the letters. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, tell me that first. Okay. Yeah. So, here uh, we have seen, look at it, seen here in the beginning, sha, sheen in the beginning here, seen, three sticks together in the middle, sha in the beginning, sha in the beginning. Sha is very, it's not that common letter. At this level, we're not going to see a lot of sha, but you'll see a lot of seen. Seen here, you'll see a lot of seen. Okay. And here we have the first uh, letter. We uh, so far we we use capital S for it. Here we have sa, and here we have so. But so, that's the so, of so. Odd. So. Say it. You are not smiling so, here. So. so. Yeah. So. 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 so here. So. Special. There's a circle that's followed by a small stick here. It's not special at all, so it's, it's a connected. We are done with the special letters. The coming letters, they are not special, so that you connect them from both sides. Look at sa here in the beginning. Look at it, sa. Uh, here we have sa in the beginning. Here we have sa in the like middle or also at, at the end. Sa at the end. Sa in the, in the middle and at the end. At the end. Again, at this level, you can you can uh, spell all of those letters. Mohammed, yeah? I got a question with the here. Yeah. I got a question with connected and no connected. Um, yeah. For example, this is wa. Yes, this you can see wa. Yeah. 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 This here, uh, uh, you say that it's not connected. Yeah. Yeah. But why we we are oh sorry no battery hello hello yeah 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 I hear you ah uh, okay okay yeah. why if it's not connected change fin final medial wow no it's not connected it's not the, it doesn't change wow here look at wow Do, here we have it wow here this one wow. yes this yes one? it's in the middle yes. So, and it's followed, it's in the middle, but it's also, it, it's after Ra, and Ra also a special letter. We have six, we have six special letters. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we have six special letters. We have A and Wa. This A and this Wa. Look at A here, I will, I will show you. This is A. It's a special letter. It means you don't connect it from the left. Look at, look at A. When we wrote it, we, we, we wrote ba again, so it's not connected. And we have wa, this is wa, we wrote it, and we left the pen, we wrote ha. And then we have da, la, ra, and za. Look at ra, 
right here it's connected uh, i don't mm. know if we have uh, that here look at that here it's connected those, but this is, is, is connected hmm? no this one from the right uh, it's not connected mm. from the right but from the left it's not connected you don't you don't care about the right the right is not your you always care from here to here like this is your direction yes yes yeah and look at the dal let me just show you dal look at that here it's not connected look yes there is a gap yeah 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 i can see look, look at alif there is no it's connected again okay okay the last letter here we have is bod bod no. No. This is very this is very rare uh, letter. This is very uncommon. It's one of the most uncommon letters in Arabic, but it's, it's there. So when you say it, look at it. Look at it. It's like sad, exactly like sad, but it's with a dot. So whenever you see this letter, I, I don't know if we have it. No, we don't have it here. We don't because it's very uncommon. At this level, you are not going to 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 like uh, see it so but if you see it it's bad but say it again but no 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 not but it's da. exactly like, like exactly like that like, like that 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 but you are not smiling no 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 this is uh, your homework uh, to spell, to try to spell, not like a homework, this is more like a practice, but this is your homework, to connect them. These, these letters here, connect them. Make sure, when you connect them, check. Alif here is not connected. Uh, Alif here in the middle is not connected. Alif in the middle is not connected. Here, Alif. Uh, that's it. Alif here is not connected. Okay, hey guys. Okay. Have okay. I'm taking it slowly with the letters now. I would like you to, again, if we uh, finish this course without finishing the letters, or like some of you, without like fully uh, finishing or memorizing the letters, that's fine. I want you to, uh, to know that uh, learning the letters, the alphabet, is like ongoing process. But learning like grammar, especially for those who are speaking, uh, class, conversational Arabic. I'm teaching conversational Arabic. I'm making you understand the grammar, the vocabulary, what to do with that. Okay? So I will see you shall next week, uh, the same time, Monday and Wednesday. Hope you join. And uh, please, like, I, will, I will upload the uh, video on YouTube. I'll send you the, the link, inshallah. Ma'asalama. 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 Ma'asalama.